Welcome friends to this new series on how to create your very own chat app in Flutterflow using a super base backend database. Alright, so right now I'm in Figma and as you can see, I have my whole app lined up over here. So firstly, we have the login page and the register page for authentication. And after you register your account, you will get sent to a setup profile page over here. It's pretty simple stuff. This is the authentication side of the app. And then you'll be brought to the home page or the chats page where you will be able to see all your chats and all your groups as well over here. And once you click on the chat page, you will be sent to a chat room and you can click on the top part to see your chat details over here as well. You can also click on the bottom bar to set up your profile. So this is the profile page. You can click edit profile to edit your profile, you can edit your profile picture, your phone number, your name, and as well as your bio. And you can click log out to go back to you, your login page. So let's just present and see how this app works. All right, so this is the login page. Let's just click sign in. And when we sign in, we'll be brought to our chat page. And here we can see all our different chats. So let's just try clicking on this person one chat. And you can see that we are in the chat page right now with the chat message over here and chat messages sent by us as well. And you can also send pictures using this plus icon as well. So we can try to go back. Then we can go to our profile page. As you can see, there's this profile page. You can change your profile picture and you can edit your profile where you can change your profile picture, phone number, name, as well as your bio. And then you can save changes. Let's go back to our chat page. And also on the top right hand corner, you will have this plus icon where you can either create a new contact, a new person to chat with, or you can create a new chat group and you can search for members over here. So that's the basic rundown of our app. And now let's get into making our app in Flutterflow. 